Ladies and gentlemen, it's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all set three of the ADV Global Championships. So, on your on the left side you have Water Mess, and on the right side you have Fakes. This is set three of the tournament. Um, Fakes won set two just now as I'm recording. I just recorded set two, and uh, set two was a was a very very interesting series of games. Um. It was very close for for the second game too. I'll I'll uh, I'll admit. Anyways, set three is gonna be a different kind of game, or we're gonna be seeing some different stuff. So far, so far, like what's being shown, it looks like they have similar teams at the moment. Um, we're seeing Scar, we're seeing uh, Tar, Celebi, and Scarm. Oh, Fakes brought a dice team. Ooh, hold on. This might be that. This might be that dice team. It might be that dice team actually. It maybe they both bought. Maybe they both bought it. Oh, they both! Oh shit! They both brought the same team. <laughs> Yo, they both brought the same team. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, no, never mind, never mind. It's not, but it's similar, similar teams. Um, very, very similar teams. Okay, so Starmie looks like a threat to uh, to Fakes. Looks very much like a threat. Surf coming down. Oh, it's definitely a threat. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so Tar's pretty much dead. Um, Selby comes in here. On the next surf, I surf doing a little bit to it, not a whole lot. But yeah, I think Fakes brought a di brought a dice team, so this is going to be very, very interesting. HP Grass doing damage to it, definitely a lot of damage. Um, he can't exactly recover recover freely. He has to go Skarmory here on the next HP Grass. Uh, now what Fakes can do is just go for a leech to bring Skarmory back or to uh, weaken Skarmory even more. Um, he is going to uh, choose to do that, go for a Toxic there instead. So he gets the Toxic off, which will circumvent the Leech Seed damage um, a little bit. Uh, he's going to go for the Switch into Rachi. So there's Rachi there. Going to go for a Spikes. He gets two Spikes down, or two layers of Spikes down. Um, Face can still can still get his own Spikes down too, potentially on the opposing Celebi. In comes Tar here on the sub. So Sub Punch Rachi about to do some magic. <laughs> if Sub Punch Rachi lands his punch, uh, nope, it doesn't. So that's a miss. Here comes an EQ that's going to break that sub. So there he goes. Um, is it Bantar? It's not Bantar. It's definitely 4 attack Tar. Uh, Celebi will come in here on the uh, dynamic on the dynamic punch and lands it. So punch going to come down on it. Uh, Celebi going to eat the punch. But Celebi takes it pretty well. Going to be able to switch out and go Skarmory here on the next sub. So now Rachi can go for Thunder or even Ice Punch. Um, which I don't think he really appreciates. Thunder going to come down and crack that Skarmory. Uh, gonna be able to break out though, so Mess getting very lucky to miss that, to miss out on that, and not get paired there. Raj gonna come back in on the next spike, on the actually the tech actually, so he's gonna be able to tech here, and Raj can just go for sub again, and Doug gonna come in here on the potential thunder or the potential sub, and that is gonna crack down on that Rachi or on the on the Doug, but Mess gonna catch the Rachi, and that's gonna be a dead Rachi, so no more punching from that uh. And that Rachi, but Moltres gonna come in here. Moltres is a big ass threat with spikes down, especially if he gets the burn on the tar switch, which he does get the burn. So Rachi gonna be able to, or I mean, my apologies, Fakes gonna be able to burn the tar, which is a uh, very huge, very very huge. Skarm are gonna come in here on the rock slide, doing no damage since this rot, since this uh, Skarm is you know gonna be able to eat the hit. So Tar has rock slide, earthquake, and roar, which is very interesting. Um, I wonder what else does he have? Maybe HP bug too. Uh. Yeah, we see the Celebi back. Celebi can lead it again. Or dash to recover and says he's gonna recover here. Gonna for the Tonsic there. So Tonsic gonna come down. So he gets the Tonsic there. He could just go for a spike down. As he has no way to really avoid the spikes. So he's gonna go for the lead seed. Gonna go for a Tonsic again in case he made a double back into Moltres. So that was a really good read from a uh, message play. Or from message point of view. He go for a spike here still. As Mo can come in. Or Tar even. So Tar gonna come in and get some recovery back. But he's going to actually go Starmie here instead. So, Mess making the double switch into Starmie, which is really, really good. Going to be able to recover here on the switch or just surf here, which he has to surf. Because now, uh, Taurus basically sleep is basically going to be fodder at this point. So, Face can use that Taurus fodder for something else. He can bring in Molt now. And Molt will come in on HP Grass doing no damage. He's going to let the Tar go now and then bring in uh, Moltres afterwards or even go back into, or even go back into Gone. Um, nope, he goes Molt instead. Overheat coming down, going to crack on that Moltres. But um, pretty much face can just be able to go for a fire blast here and still do some really good chip. He's gonna choose to let the Skarmory go, or actually no, no. Face tried to make a prediction in case uh Starmie came in. So that was a good read actually. That was a very good read. Gonna protect here to get some recovery back. Gonna go for the flamethrower there, 
And now what Mess can do is he can actually let Tara go now if he wants. Um, but no, he's gonna let Skarmory go instead. Interesting. Okay, so Skarmory's gone. Tara comes in here now. And now Tara can, and now what Tara can do is go for Rock Slider if just phase this. I think phase is still better. So you probably will phase it. Go Starmy there as, um, he goes for the tech. And that is pretty much game, I think. Um, it seems like, cause, um, <laughs> cause, uh, Fake's already said GG. Or I mean, uh, Mess is already saying GG. So, there goes Starmie, and Starmie is going to go down. Oh, no. They're going to come in here, going to go for the slide, going to attack here on the Protect. As uh, Skarmie can come in now on the slide. Or even Fakes can just stay in here if he wants. So, he is going to go Gone there. Going to go for the slide anyway. Get some really good chip damage on Gone. Going to do a ton, but it's actually Lefty's Gone. So, with it being Lefty's Gone, that means he'll have some free way to actually go for HP Bug, or whatever he wants goes for HP Bug. Is going to catch the Celebi, and Celebi is slower, unfortunately. Uh, this game is looking. Ooh, it looks like it looks like Fix is gonna get away with the uh, with the dice team. It looks like it. Um, gonna go for tech there. Gonna go for the burn. Misses there, unfortunately. If Flygon can, if uh, Mo can dodge the can dodge slide. No, he has Toxic instead, and he misses burn anyway. Uh, yeah, this is looking like a tough game. Game one, man. Very tough game one. But it looks like Fakes won this one. Um, Alright. It looks like Game 2 is already up too. So these guys are playing very, very fast. Um, but it looks like Fakes won with the uh, dice team. And that's going to be that. I really thought he had it, man. I really did. Like, Starmie looked like it was very, very good here. But I uh, I guess Mess, I guess Mess just kind of missed out on his opportunity. Or just got, you know, got outplayed by the HP bug. Or by the HP grass uh, play. So that was smart. Smart on fixed play going for HP Grass there. Um, I guess catching it or again catching the Starmie. So that was a good read. Very good read. To be fair, Mess didn't really have a good switch in. I mean, I guess he could have went Molt anyway. But he did have the option of going Molt. That could have been a good play for him too. Um, but I guess he really do. I guess he really was trying to catch the uh, catch that. Honestly, I think if he sacked the tar, maybe he might have had more leeway, but I don't know. I don't think so. I do think Starmie was useful, though. It was very, very good. Is game two over already? What the fuck? Hold on, wait. Oh, I know. Okay, no, this, this is already game two. This is game two. My bad. Sorry. My apologies. This is game two. So, game two's up. Um, So, Fakes versus uh, m versus Mess. You have a Tar Lee versus a Reiku. Versus Reiku. Uh, Reiku usually likes to go for Toxic turn one. Or even just Thunderbolt. Um. <laughs> so this one will be interesting. Um, with it being lead Reiku. So he's going to sub here to scout whatever it goes for. I'll go for. So Targ's going to go for the slide. Or I mean, Mess is going to choose to go for slide with the uh, Reiku. Uh, Reiku could go for Toxic if he wants to get more chip on Re to get more chip on this, or even just go for oh HP Grass. Okay, so HP Grass is goes for EQ, and there goes uh, Reiku. So Reiku's going to die there. To the Doug. Um, Doug's gonna get trapped. Or Doug gonna, Doug's gonna trap the Tar. So Tar is dead. Um, now, uh, Skarm can come in and go for a spike. So he will spike here on the Gar switch. Um, so Gar gonna come in, take that, uh, take some chip from Sand. Uh, gonna switch out and go Rachi here on the Hypnosis. Wait, hold on. Is Mess bringing Jolt Spike? Yo, Mess bringing the Jolt Spike. Okay. They're gonna Thunderbolt here to get some chip on that. Gonna boom there, and there goes Jolt. So Jolt dying is huge. Um, these guys are playing hella offensive. Jeez, Zapdos gonna come down here. Um, Zapdos coming in is really, really not the best. Perk gonna come in here on the Thunderbolt play. Um, let's see if the Zap has HP Grass. Does it? It does have HP Grass. So HP Grass gonna come down, do some chip to that. Um, let's see. He go for Ice Punch pretty freely. Gonna boom here, actually. So you're gonna choose the boom. So he lets that go. In comes Skarm on the Perk. So Perk gonna come in. Um, Mess's own perks actually very, very good against, uh, Fakes at the moment. But, um, wow, excuse me. Fakes is going to go for the pump there as Skarm is going to take the pump relatively well. Uh, Rachi going to come in here on the next spike. Uh, so now what Mess can do is just keep phasing this. If this is Calm on Rachi, which it probably is. Okay, gonna, yeah, it might be offensive Rachi. Gonna phase that out. Uh, gonna get, gonna bring in Doug, which is very, very good. Because now that means that Mess can get another, can get one more spike down. Um, or even phase again. But nope, he's going to get the next spike down. He could tech now. 
to put himself out of a uh, fire punch range, but instead he's going to go on a perk here on the next fire punch. Uh, no burn, thankfully. Uh, now, what would his switching be for this? Or is he just going to choose to stay in here? If he has HP grass, that's going to be very, very big. Um, which I feel like it could be because this team just looks way too offensive. Yeah, it is HP grass. Going to phase it out. So he's actually roar perk. Okay, then this is uh, this is mono perk then. Which means I don't think EQ kills. No, EQ's not killing. Um, yeah, he is going to show tech. Okay, so tech going to come out there. Um, going to go Rachi again. And he's going to go for tech again. Okay. So what is the last mon that Mess has? Skarm. Going to HP Grass there. Mm, let's see what happens. Goes for, goes for Fire Punch there. Going to knock him out. Is he Doug? Does he have a Doug? If he has a Doug, it might be over. If he shows Doug right now, it might be over. Rachi. That's still good too. Maybe. Uh, it's kind I don't know. I don't know. In the chat, it looks like Mess is saying that, uh... I think Mess is conceding. Is Mess conceding? No way. Hmm. Uh, okay, I, I think it might be over. Gonna calm mine. Let's see. Gonna fire punch there. Get some chip on the Rachi. Mm. Fire punch there. Doing a whole lot to that Rachi. Gonna fire punch again. He would need like a crit or a burn. No burn. Ugh, this one's looking close, man. Fire punch is gonna knock him out in that GG. And I think that's it. I think that's the game. I think that's the game, man. I think that's it. Wow. Okay, so we'll say they're they're discussing the game at the moment. So, totally did win. Word you out. Played not played not aggro this one. Uh, nine range of fire punch. Rachi cleans plus one. Roar. Hmm. I think if he roared, he might have had a little bit more, a little bit more leeway. I think he got a little too greedy with the spike, to be fair. But yeah, fakes wins, and uh, I think that's that. I think that's the end. So that's that. Uh, fakes wins. Um, yeah, I think fakes wins. I think this is the end of the uh, the end of the global, uh, cause again both sets have already went down. So fakes won both set one and set or one set two, and one set three. So that means that uh, that does mean that fakes is the winner of the ADV global uh tour, the ADV global uh, championship. So I believe that that's it. Wow, this was a uh. This was a very, very interesting set of games. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I have to, I really have to say these were some very, very close games. Um, Again, especially for, like, I really think that out of all the games that happened throughout this whole thing, I'd probably say that my favorite games were game one or game three of uh, set one. Uh, for set two, I definitely say it was set. It was game two, uh, cause I really did like the whole back and forth that was going on between the interactions with um, with Scar, Rachi, and Suicune. Uh, with you know, Fakes being able to get the recovery back to bring back uh Doll, bring or not bring back Doll, mostly bring back Suicune and bring back uh Scar. Uh, and also that boom play, that boom play um in set two. Which again, if you ha if you guys haven't seen set two, I definitely recommend it. It was a very good set of games, um, uh, very very good set of games. But man, and then this game here, this game was just another crazy one. The double electric with the uh, with the double ground. Hmm. Man, I really wanted to see Jolt do some work, man. I really did. I wonder if he had. He probably didn't have sub on this. Um, so he must have been like Thunderbolt Roar or Thunderbolt HP Grass Roar. He couldn't really boom either way. I mean, he could have, he could have, um, 
Maybe he could have played around. I think he could have played around this with Joel. I definitely think he had the he had the chance to do it, but it's kind of tough. I think he had to. Um, I think Mess was playing a little too. Uh, I don't think he was. I don't think he was playing as aggro enough. Or maybe no. I think he played too aggro. Actually, I think he played a little too aggro here. Um, but these were still like these are still good games. Uh, despite that though. But, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, it does suck, man. It really does. I really wanted to see Mess win this one. I really did. I really, really, really wanted to see him win this. But, but still, congratulations to Fakes. I definitely think he earned it. And he played his heart out, too. They both played their heart outs in these games. Um, but man, um, unfortunately, it seems like Fakes got the, got the upper hand, though. I want to go back to this game real quick. So I feel like I really think Mess could have played a little bit differently here. Um, I like how he did try to bait the Reiku though to make him think he was banded. I think that was very smart on his end uh, to go for that. So he does go for the slide first and then go for the quick afterwards on the HP grass uh, to get chip. Or maybe he was predicting him to switch out and go into pert. That might have been that might have also been a play as well. Um, but yeah, he does able to do that and then trap the Doug. So again, great play from Fix to trap Doug or to trap Tar with Doug, and then bring in the uh, bring in the Scarm there to get the spike down. Uh, then and spikes there were good. I'm really surprised that Fix went for the boom turn like that early though. Um, like and also the miss there sucks. But again, he was hypno boom. So hypno hypno boom runs like you know hypnosis boom and I think bolt beam. Uh, so really all Gengar can do is boom. Now. I don't think he had any other option but to, you know, stay in with Jolt, to be fair. Like, if this, if Fakes did go for sleep again, then, um, then, well, that would have put him, you know, at an even more, at even more of an advantage than over Booming. Um, because then he would have had a free, then he pretty much has a free sack, you know? Um, basically gets a free sack. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what else he could have done to prevent the Boom. And still keep uh Jolt alive. I think Jolt was very. I think I I definitely think Jolt had a way around this still, and same and again pair like Jolt and Rachi. I think both had ways to still break this down. Um, but it was just it was just a tough call. Um, he had to throw out the he. I think he had to throw out Jolt, but I don't know. I think I don't think he had to throw it out because again you saw Fix had to go for the boom because he had you know another electric. He had Zapdos. Like if. Um, but again, Mess doesn't know, um, he doesn't know what the guard could be, or what the guard could be besides seeing Hypnosis, so, I guess staying in to go for Bolt maybe was the safer option, but I don't know, I think he still had ways around it, but, again, risking, risking Hypnosis just to save Jolt, um, maybe that wasn't, maybe that really wasn't it, maybe it wasn't it, but, uh, but yeah, uh, Dodges sleep, and then bolts down on the on the gar. And then you think it's boomed on. Uh, so pretty much two for two for two, and then Scarmin to come in on Zap, and then you know he makes the trade. He makes the switch back into uh in the pert, and then makes the double on the gar on the HP grass, which catches it and then booms on it. So it was pretty much just a straight up like, like, like hit for hit kind of game. Like, mess was not holding punches. But I, I still think he could have saved at least one punch for the end game. <laughs> I do think he could have saved at least one punch for the end game. Uh, but yeah, and then, you know, Pert pretty much gets hard walled. And then Spikes come down, or Tata comes down, and then Spikes too. Um, even if he tried to, like, like, like phase every turn, that might have been good for him as well. Um, and try to keep phasing again. He got all three layers down. Uh, right? No, he got the... He got the fourth one here. Or no, no, it was all three. No, it was two, my bad. My bad, sorry. Um, Yeah, then Rachi comes back. I really think he should have phased there. That was a greedy spike. That was greedy on his end. Um, Because again, if he got that other spike down, that might have actually helped him um, in handling Rachi better. So I think that was a very greedy, I think that was a very greedy spike on his end. At least he was able to kind of circum circumvent it with the next spike. Or with the next um with the next roar from Pert, but still, I do think he could have saved that, or I do think he could have done it again, or done it on that on that turn, 
but it's fair. It's fine. Maybe he was also fearing the opposing part, too. Um, or I guess he really wanted that third spike. But he, I think he still could have afforded it on the part still. Um, but yeah, HP Fire was going to kill. Or Fire Punch was going to kill. Well, actually got a crit. How much did the first one do, actually? The first one did... Let's go back real quick. Uh, the first Fire Punch did 43%. Yeah, he was in range. Which is funny, because the name of the, the Skarm is uh, Rage range Life. <laughs> which is which is funny. But um, that's that's not very funny. Um... But yeah, I wonder if this was modest, Rachi. Probably was modest. I don't think Timid would have killed Skarm. Uh, but let's see, just out of curiosity. Uh, Skarmory versus Rachi. Uh, Jirachi. Again, I like looking at games like these. Just to just kind of see like how the opponent you know plays. So, modest does forty one to or does forty to forty seven percent. So in hindsight, hmm, in hindsight, it was—I mean, it was a roll. It was a roll there. Uh, but also that crit did matter. That crit definitely mattered. If he didn't get that crit, he still would have been able to phase around, uh, and that would have been a lot better for him in the long run. And he still would have had a way to break through Rachi or break through the opposing Rachi. But. I don't know, when you when you consider the fact that he's played two sets in a row, with one game being o almost 200 turns, and another one being, you know, and I guess the, even the turns, even the games previously, I guess that would kind of, like, leave you a, leave you in a shock, um, in a way. But, still, so despite that, I think they both played very well. Um, They both played very, very well. So, that's going to be uh, that. So, again, the winner will be... uh. Is fakes, and he is the ADV Global Champion. So that's that. So can't wait to uh, record more uh, matches like these. This was a lot of fun, <laughs> especially set two. Holy shit, set two was so fun to record. Um, but this one was pretty fun as well. Um, but yeah, that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my breakdown of these games. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video. Again, let me know. What did you think about these matches? I like to know that. Um, again, I thought they were very solid, all of them, except for set two, uh, or except for game one of set two. That one was uh, that one was really weird. <laughs> but um, but yeah, again, that's that. So be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you for some more um tournament uh reaction replay stuff discussion, all that jazz. That's that. Be safe, wash your hands, and peace out.